Welcome to the Looking for Documents module. If you know what content type you are looking for, then the blue quick find on the legal homepage or the practice area pages is a great start. Let's look at the employment practice area page. In the quick find legislation box, you can type in act titles and also acronyms. The suggestion boxes allow for quick and easy retrieval of legislation by suggesting acts that match the letters you type in. For example, let's type in PACE. In the Quick Find Journal box, you can search over the full text of journals and our journals index. In the Quick Find Forms and Precedents box, you can search over 25,000 ready drafted documents. In the Quick Find Find a Source box, you can look for sources in your subscription. In the Quick Find Legal Terms box, you can search over 2,000 defined terms with helpful links to key cases, legislation, commentary, practical guidance and precedents. If you want to do a more detailed search, then it's best to use the tailored search forms. To access the search forms, click the tab under Search tab and you will see all the tailored search forms listed below it. Let's click on Legislation. Legislation on Lexis Library is updated daily and is consolidated so you can be assured that you are always looking at the most reliable version of your Act or Statutory Instrument. To conduct a detailed search from this page, fill in the search boxes such as the title, year, series number, provision, part or schedule. If you are looking for a particular section of an Act, enter the section number in the provision field. In this case, let's leave that blank. You will see to the right of the legislation form, there is an option to request older versions of legislation. Just click the link and fill out the form. From this page, you also have the option to access international legislation by clicking on the link to international legislation from the left hand side. It is also possible to do a free text search over legislation. In order to use the search terms box effectively, Lexis Library requires the use of connectors. To learn more about connectors, you always have a link to search tips directly underneath the search terms box. This will bring up a list of all the commands and connectors that we use across the service. Let's click on the cross on the top right hand corner to close the window. For example, you can always use the within connectors by entering WP. Let's type in sale W forward slash P higher purchase. Lexus Library will now look for sale within the same paragraph when you run the search. The OR connector is very good to use when looking for synonyms or acronyms. For example, we could enter sale or lease. Let's type in sale or lease W forward slash S higher purchase. In this case, Lexis Library will now search for sale or lease within the same sentence as higher purchase. Let's now look at browsing for sources. Let's go to the commentary search form by clicking on the tab in the top of the screen. From this screen, you also have the option to browse through your commentary sources. This is the same as looking over a table of contents, setting out a source. Click on the blue link to browse on the left hand side. You will then be taken to an alphabetical list showing you all the commentary sources in your subscription. Let's have a look at Hallsbury's Laws of England. Click on the plus sign next to Hallsbury's Laws of England in order to expand the title. Now you can scroll through all the volumes. To drill down in a volume, click on the plus icon beside a volume title. Let's click on the plus sign next to the animals volume and then click on the introduction hyperlink. You can drill down until the lowest node, which is the document page. This will render the document page. Let's return back to the home page by clicking on the Lexis Library icon. The Did You Mean feature on Lexis Library helps users quickly find what they are looking for. When a small typing error is made in a search, Lexis Library will return results for the best match available. Let's type unfair dismissal with a deliberate typo into the explore box. Lexis Library indicates at the top of the screen 
that we have searched for unfair dismissal with the spelling mistake, but it then asks, did you mean unfair dismissal with the correct spelling? By clicking this link, you get a wider results set. You will see Lexis recommends at the top of the results page in a green box. This is where we suggest the most relevant result to you. In this example, the search logic realized you were searching for a legal term. So it presents the legally defined term as well as helpful links to key legislation, cases, Hallsbury's definitions, etc. To read more, click on read more. This is a fuller explanation of the legal term, definition and links to related terms, indexes and links to practical guidance. Let's go back to our results by clicking on the back button. It can sometimes be difficult to decide which result is the most suitable to read. To help you decide, you can use the document preview function on the right hand side of the list of results. Click on the preview button to open up a panel, displaying some of the text of the document. Your search terms are highlighted in yellow. Click on the arrow at the bottom to scroll down the text. If you decide you would like to read further, you can click on go to full document at the bottom of the panel. If you decide you want to look at other documents, click on Close Preview in the top right hand corner. To shortlist documents from your results that you would like to collate for printing, emailing or downloading, click on My Documents button to the right of each result. When you add a document to the folder, the final column will display the words added to my documents. This is a hyperlink direct to the folder. As you add documents, the number next to the My Documents link at the top of the screen will increase. Let's go back to the Lexis Library homepage by clicking on the Lexis Library icon. Every time we view a document, it will be stored on the service for 48 hours. If we decide to go back to view a document that we have looked at within those 48 hours, the quickest way is by clicking on the My Alerts and History tab at the top of the screen. Then select the History tab, then the Recent Documents sub-tab. This will then display a list of all the documents you have viewed in full text over the last 48 hours. If you wish to view any of these documents, please click on the title of the document and it will display. This concludes the Looking for Documents module.